Welcome back, folks. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Monday morning. Monday morning. We've had a very busy weekend. Um, the guys have been working on the roof. Um, they've made great progress. Um, the house itself is finished. It's just the workshop roof to do now, so they're going to be coming back next weekend. See it from here? That side's done-ish. That side's not yet. Not finished yet. Um, I'll ta I'm going to take you up there and show you in a minute anyway. The great work that's been done. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. Um, had a, a visit yesterday from a couple of our subscribers. Hi Mike and Eileen. Hello guys. <laughs> it was lovely to meet you and um, they bought us some lovely presents. Thank you again. Um, yes, very, very nice. Yeah. An apron and oven goes for the chef. Yes, Chef Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and a lovely candle and some yucca plants that uh, Eileen's grown herself. And a big pot. And a big pot which will look lovely in the courtyard. Um, yeah, so brilliant. Yeah, um, thanks guys. So today, oh, Although I should be pointing the downstairs loo, I'm on clear up duty. Oh, what a job. You want to see the mess. <laughs> but it had to be done and it's it's fantastic that the, the house itself is now sealed. If it does rain, it have forecast rain tomorrow, yes. Wednesday possibly. Um, at least we're all sealed now, so that's brilliant. So, and I want to try and get that window built up round there because if it does rain, We've just got a big hole in the wall at the moment, <laughs> so let's crack on. Let's do it. So we'll start here. Um, that's the bodega workshop wall. You can see daylight from that, from the inside to it. Um, that side's all done. Um, the ridge up there on this side is pretty much done. This edge along here um, still needs pointing up. The ridge on the other side, that still needs its um, last coat. We've got a lovely new chimney there. Uh, and the wall, the other side of the bodega wall, still needs its final coat on this side. The whole of the bodega workshop roof needs doing yet. Um, they didn't manage to get to start on that. that chim this chimney took so long, so much longer than expected. Um, but we've got the flue in there ready. And our original chimney there is all capped off lovely with the flue in place as well. Um, you can see it's sticking up there, that's better is it? Look at the state of the floor and the glass table there. Um, yes we've got a bit of cleaning up to do here. Um, it all came off, it was all the rubbish that was swept off the roof. Cats is in his favourite place and um, Jesse's super catted out there. Uh, on the cleaner half of the the courtyard. Right, so we're on it. The first job is to get all the old dirty stuff out. We've got a wire brush, I've got my trowel. Just gonna get all this cleaned up so we can get a good um, addition from the lime. It's not too bad, it's just at the bottom here. Most of it we did um, when we knocked it out originally. So, yeah, I'll get this done and then we can start on the rebuilding it. I've actually picked out a few stones already as it'll go nicely in um, the relevant gaps. Um, if you thought it wasn't as bad as it is. What a mess, dear me. How many years have this muck's been on the roof for?
voila, it's done. My goodness me, my back is broken. Oh, virtually a full bucket there of um, mess. So, uh, not had not had much chance to do anything else today, apart from a few domestic chores. But that's think alive for you. Okie dokie. So all the bottoms built up. Um, I've started up the side here. Um, what I'm going to do now is go from the inside, well tomorrow, because I'm not doing another mix now, it's too late, and start to fill up from the inside as well. We've got another one of these massive stones we're going to put on the inside, um, which should look lovely as a sill inside or a ledge, whatever you call them. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming together slowly. Right, okay, I hope you can see that with a lot of flare on the window and all the tickles here. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, you can see inside the first one's in there, that's from the outside. Again, as I said, I've got a big stone we're going to put right across here, flush with these, and um, that should look really nice. Um, but yeah, it takes forever, it takes a long time, it's painstaking. These are the outside leaves of our first lettuce we've just picked. Um, so I want to show you that. And there you have it, our baby iceberg, Californian iceberg. First one of the season, so um, we'll have to share. And this is our lovely pot that we mentioned this morning that um, Eileen and Mike brought yesterday for us. Uh, is that gorgeous? Not quite sure where we're going to put it yet. It will go in the courtyard, but probably in the upper courtyard. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. So, um, But yeah, we'll certainly find a nice... Um, plant or some herbs or something to grow in that so thanks again guys it's fantastic Tuesday morning um, it's raining joy and it's very green everywhere and lush I'm glad we cleaned this courtyard up yesterday I'm glad Sharon cleaned this courtyard up yesterday because it would have been a mud bath um, can't really do anything on the outside today so I'm gonna have a look at the the inside doing a bit more on that so nice to have the roof done as well, um, very comforting. Um, I've got this big puppy here which I'm going to put um, under the window and the inside here and it's got a bit of stuff on it so I need to try and get it cleaned off um, before it goes in place. It'd be a lot easier than trying to clean it when it is in. So I'll get a wire brush and see what I can do with it. No, it's not clean enough easily at all. Um, I've left it outside in the rain, hopefully that'll soften it up a bit. Um, right, so that's going to go in here. It shouldn't have fit pretty much right across. So what I need to do first is, same as I did on the outside, put a bed on here for it to sit on um, to bring it up to the height that I need. Um, obviously I want this to look really nice on the front. So the mission as always is finding the stones to do that job. So I've got another hunt. Fab. So after a lot of luck in the back and a bit of cracking. This is a piece of marble here. I've just cracked the face. That's another piece of marble again. And then we've got two pieces of sandstone. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a mix on now. Another one for the back there. Bed these in. Fill up some of the gaps at the back there. And then that should give me a nice base to put my massive stone on. So I'll go and knock up a mix. They stay better when they've got more to round them <laughs> rather than just trying to balance them. But hopefully, yeah, it's going to look pretty good, that. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Put the big ones in first. <laughs> Check the height. Yep, he's all right. Better now. Smashing.
It's horrible out there. Did I say Sharon's gone to the dentist, so I'm on my own today. I'm getting the pearly white sorted out. Well, I'll check up anyway. <laughs> Not there's anything wrong with them. Um, oh, yes. Okay. Pretty good. Push him down a little bit. Right. Smash him. Right, I'll carry on and come back to you shortly. So there we go, four, five at the bottom in. Um, the holes at the back I've just um, chucked a load of mortar and just stuffed lots of stones in, making like a concrete in effect. Um, I need to let that go off a little bit now I think before I put that big heavy stone on top. So we'll give them a little while and see, see how it dries. It's not looking too promising because it's raining very very lightly but it's still raining. Right then, see if we can get this monster in. I've uh, measured it and I've chipped a little bit off the ends um, to make sure it'll fit. Hopefully it's going to fit. It'll be a bit messy if it doesn't even get these gloves on. It's actually stopped raining um, but it's forecast a bit more for tomorrow as well so I don't really want to do anything on the outside. But let's get my gloves on if I can and see if we can get this big puppet in place. Right. I'm just going to put it down on a, a loose bed basically and then we'll point it up after. Oh, sticky. Uh, that one. <laughs> we like it sticky. Right, let's see what we can do with this. Move that out of the way. Let's see if I can get up here. Okay, there, there. Right now I'm going to lift it in without chopping my fingers. <coughs> Pop it on there like that. And up we go. Oh yes. Well, he's in. Right, I need my level and have to check his level. It needs packing up a little bit under the sand. It's not easy. I'm just going to lift him up and throw some stuff in. There we go. Still more. It's a struggle. Okay. Right. That's him. That's him. That looks pretty good. Right, that's it. That is definitely it. Fantastic. Right, I'm going to pack him up with some mortar now, just to make sure it doesn't settle. Ooh! Okay, I've just thrown a little one in there now. Um, I'm going to leave that. I've got a little bit of stuff left. I'm going to risk putting a bit in the outside and um, hope there's no detriment from the rain, if it does come anymore. 
Right, so I've got a bit more done on the outside, not much, um, don't want to risk too much. But what I've done, I've done the bottoms here and, one, and put one in there and one inside. When they're gone off, um, I can take my wedges out then, it should be pretty solid, well, it's solid now but I don't want to take any chances. Um, I'll brush all this off, I'll let it go off a bit and then come and just give it a brush down, smooth it all off, blend it all in. Um, the rest of it I've shoved inside. So there we go, I'm not doing another mix now. Um, what I've done, you can see the sides are built, put one in there, um, finish off that and the other side, say when it's dry these wedges can come out and we can get it all boxed in. Um, I've thrown a load of stuff and a load of stones down the back because I've got a gap be between these two stones just to fill it up. Um, but yeah, it's coming along nicely. Um, as I say, I'll just let it go off a little bit and then brush brush it all down, make it all nice, clean it up as best I can because I've got more so all over the wood because I'm a messy worker. <laughs> That's fantastic. Let's hope we get a bit more sunshine tomorrow. Although it's not, it's not promised, it's promised to rain again. Um, but we'll have to wait and see because I really want to get this done because it's we've got a draft coming through. There's no point having a new window with a draft. And no sooner, they say, uh, it's just started raining again. Um, the window is set in um, a little bit and there is quite an overhang on the roof. So as long as the wind's not blowing this way onto the wall, um, it should be fine. So fingers crossed I'll be putting them back in again tomorrow. Right, it's Wednesday morning. Um, the forecast rain again today. Uh, it's not too bad. There are one or two blue patches in the sky, but unfortunately we've got a lot to do as well. Duncan and Goat need straw. Um, the dogs need food, and um, we need to get some more tiles for the roof for this weekend when the guys come back to hopefully finish it off. Um, a few other bits and pieces we need as well. So we're all hitched up with the trailer. We've got a lot of rubbish to take to the bins, and we're hoping to get that window finished off today because t the video comes out tomorrow we finish it today you get to see it tomorrow um, so we better crack on the other thing we need is a, a new wheel or a tire for our wheelbarrow look at the state of that we've had this poor lad he's, um, he was helping the, the roofing chap in making hundreds and hundreds of trips up to the skit with this absolutely full of rubber weighs a ton and uh, with a flat tire <laughs> so um, I promise I'd get it done for him for this weekend, so we, we're going to try and get a solid one, you know, those solid rubber things, but whatever we can get, we'll get. Um, they sell them at the builders merchants where we get, apparently they sell them at the builders merchants where we get the, the roofing tiles from. Um, so, yeah, it's um, not happy days on the wheelbarrow. I've just been speaking to Emilio, our Spanish neighbour, and apparently there's a shop in the town that fixes all wheelbarrows, <laughs> it'll put us a solid tyre on it, also fixes chainsaws and stuff like that. So I'm going to pop this wheel off and um, take it with us. Formula One, the wheelbarrow. Yes, that. We need the wheelbarrow also um, because all this lot is in the living room floor that came down from the chimney. We need to take that to the skip as well. Um, <laughs> well I'm not showing you the inside either, but look up there if you can see if it'll focus. It's all dark in here now because we haven't got a massive hole in the roof. Um, but the flue's in place, we just need to knock these side walls off here. Um, of the old chimney and a bit there when it's all set solid but yeah that's fantastic it looks like um, young Dottle wants to come with us are you coming Dotty? <laughs> right so we're off um, we're gonna get get rid of this rubbish and then um, we need some diesel and go and drop the wheel off the diesel in Spain the Spanish government's actually discounted it um, you get 20 cents a litre off which is fantastic um, but the pump price is still as advertised normally but when you go in to pay inside the shop bit they give you 20 cents a litre back which is pretty good um, it all helps a lot so let's crack on 
So here we are at the bins. You know we like to do our bit for recycling, we've told you before. Um, in Spain, unlike um, such as the UK, you have a tip and in France a dichetterie and I don't know what you call it in the rest of the world so I apologise for that but they're designated places that you can take your rubbish, your building rubbish, your old fridge freezer, whatever it might be. Um, in Spain it's okay to just leave it by the main bins and uh, every so often a big lorry comes around and collects it all and takes it to, I don't know, so somewhere I guess to dispose of it um, but that's how it works. You see sofas, you see fridge freezers, you see all sorts. So we brought our um, stuff off the roof, the old plastic and all the cardboard we've accumulated um, to the bins this morning to get rid of it. Next stop, our local builders merchant. Um, we need some more lime, we need some more roof tiles and we need some builders buckets because we've destroyed all of ours, mixing mortar in them with that drill. So there are our roof tiles, we've actually had to buy a hundred, we only needed fifty but um, it's what comes on a pallet. But at fifty cents each we can't really complain. Um, and we've got the lime and we've got the builder's buckets, uh, so happy days. And now we're on our way to uh, the pet food place. We need some straw for Donkey and Goatee and some more dog food. Um, but it is in the most ridiculous place. Um, it's a fantastic shop, they have everything. But getting to it is a nightmare. We have to go through all these little streets um, with a trailer on the back, of course. And um, there's absolutely nowhere to park, so we usually end up having to block the road um, with the trailer. So. <laughs> They've just moved premises actually and I thought they were moving to somewhere perhaps on the industrial estate which would make more sense but no they've just moved next door so I don't know what the logic was there. And here we are, not bad today actually, we can actually park. So take back everything I just said. <laughs> and now for the fuel. So it just filled up, um, 112 euros in total. Actual cost to us, 97. That's a heck of a discount that, isn't it? Happy days. Right, let's go and get this wheel sorted out. The last job. <laughs> well, we've got a trailer full of straw and roof tiles. Whiskers are very happy, made a bed on it already. We need to get it covered up. There are a couple of spots of rain, um, but not too many. So the first job is always get the wheelbarrow sorted out. <laughs> Look at this. How fast is this going to go now? It's going to be proper sporting. I'm going to get it fitted, get it out of the way and get that straw covered up before it rains because it's spitting a little bit heavier now. Well luckily we just got everything in in time. The lime's in the workshop, the straw's covered over. It's The wheels changed on the wheelbarrow, you can see it there looking very sporty. Um, and now it's absolutely chucking it down. Hopefully it's just a shower and we'll be able to crack on shortly. Right, it's, we've had a brief reprieve. It's supposed to be better tomorrow. I don't really want to take these wedges out yet because this I put in yesterday is still, it's like it's not dry and I don't want to risk it moving uh, until it's set solid. Once these are set solid down here, these can come out and we can carry on. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a lintel to go in there above the window that we can set this stone on to build that up um, out of this piece of almond. This is what they did originally when they built the windows and stuff. They got the big stone lintel at the back, which isn't moving, and then to fill up the front they'd put a piece of almond or olive, probably almond because it grows a lot straighter. Olives are pain to find straight lengths. 
all the other windows and doors as you'll see in time I've got them so I'm going to see if I can get one to fit in there so when I build up this side it'll sit on top of the stones there and then we can fill this up nice and flush because it's set in a bit um, so let's see what we can do with this Crikey, that's hard stuff. Cool, right, I'll get it cut to length. We'll see what it looks like. going to go in something like that and then we can build this up sit on top of there and fill that gap as well um, we like authentic original I'm going to chance it I'm going to make a mix see if I can get some stone just a couple sign here um, and perhaps get this set in place Right, so this is a piece of marble. I've literally just cracked the front off it, cracked the side off it to make him fit, and he should sit absolutely lovely in there with a nice square corner here, a nice flat front on him there. Yeah, I think we'll um, we'll see if we can get him in place here. Excellent. And one job I couldn't do without a wheel on the wheelbarrow is to move all this mess which came down from where the chimney used to be. There used to be a great big hole in the ceiling and now it's very dark in here so I hope you can see me. Um, but yeah, I struggled on Monday it would be to muck out Donkey and Goatee just to wheel their poo up to the compost heap. So there was no way I was going to even attempt this lot without a proper wheel. So now I've got my super duper wheelbarrow and I'm ready to crack on. So let's get some of this stuff moving. I've just made a mix and look what it's done to me. Oh, fabulous. Hopefully it's just a passing shower. Um, I've got no choice now. I'm stuck with a bucket of, um, yeah, mortar. Okay, so it's absolutely chucking it down and it's blowing onto this wall a bit as well hopefully my stuff from yesterday will be all right um, but i'm not chancing i've actually taken one of the wedges out and prepared some stones but i'm just going to use this mix to fill up this hole at the back here may as well use it rather than just throw it away i've got some small stones i'm just going to make like a, a big concrete mix mortar stones mortar stones mortar stones and perhaps if we've got enough we'll get it level and flush and finished on the front here so, on we go, joy, best laid plans, and all that. <laughs> Sharon was hoping to get all the cleaning up done, and um, there's some stuff at the back as well, stones we don't need there anymore, we're going to bring around here, but it's not happening, so I'll we'll probably just have a beer when I've done this, and um, chill out. <laughs> right, I'll crack on and come back to you shortly. So that bucket didn't go very far. Um, we're nearly full at the back here now. It's only about that deep. Um, ready to face that off. Lovely. I put one in the corner, the first one. Um, but yeah, we just can't. We can't do it anymore. There's no point struggling. If we do it, it's, it's, it's highly likely it's going to get damaged and we'll have to redo it again. So there's no point. So we're going to call it a wrap there. Um, thank you so much for watching everybody um, we were really wanting to get this finished for, for this video but you'll have to wait until Sunday I think we'll definitely be finished with then because the weather's forecast to get better again and there's no more there's maybe a small chance of rain tomorrow but after that it should be should be normal service so thank you so much for watching we hope you've enjoyed another failure of ours <laughs> yeah and sometimes the time we can out the weather if you have enjoyed it and you'd like to follow our progress 
please consider subscribing to the channel little red button down there says subscribe on it and if you check the bell um, and select all YouTube will notify you every time we upload a video so thanks again guys and we'll see you on Sunday